The APC convention is an indicator of success in 2023, says President Muhammad Buhari. And Governor Yesom Wike of River State declares for presidency and says he has the capacity to remove the APC from power. This is Plus Politics, and I'm Kofi Bertels. Welcome. The ruling All Progressives Congress held its elective national convention on March 26 to March 27, 2022, ahead of the 2023 general elections. During the convention, over 70 national officers emerged with Abdullahi Adamu, former governor of Nasrallah State, becoming the national chairman of the party. Adamu emerged after six other aspirants had stepped down. Speaking on the event, President Muhammad Buhari noted the unity leaders and members of the party demonstrated at the convention on a firmer, putting the party on a firmer footing uh, for victory in the 2023 general elections. The president had stated that the media was peddling what he called fake news of division within the party, when what exists in the party, according to him, is unity, cohesion, and personal warmth. These were his words. He also blamed the main opposition, People's Democratic Party, for trying to divide the country, leading to all manner of separatist agitations. Now, joining us to discuss the all Progressives Congress elections and, of course, other developments is the chairman of the All Progressives Congress in Cross River State, Alphonsus Eba. Joyce says via phone. Good evening to you, Honorable Alphonsus Eba. Yep. Okay. Um, President Mohamed War Harry has said that um, you know the media was peddling fake news as far as um, the internal wranglings in the People's Democratic Party is uh, the All Progressives Congress, sorry about that, is concerned. Um, do you agree with him? I, I reckon you do. So you tell us how, how you know, the, the, the media was peddling fake news. Honorable Ebba, can you hear us, please? All right, we seem to have a bit of a network connection issue in getting across to our guest, uh, Honorable Alphonsus Eba. But please stay with us. I will try and put him on the line in a matter of seconds and uh, to have that very, very interesting conversation. As we said, the All Progressives Congress held its elective national uh, elections, a convention right there in the nation's capital, Abuja. A lot of reactions coming to this. The president blaming uh, the media for peddling fake news. Of course, um, it's, we're all aware of what happened uh, with the, the chairmanship or the, let's call it the caretaker chairmanship of the party with uh, Governor Maima Labuni of Yobe State having to, you know, cut short his medical trip to Dubai to travel to the United Kingdom where President Buhari was also on a medical trip um, to confer with him. And, of course, it was the president who came to his rescue, and that's how Boni was saved. And, of course, we now had a smooth and uh, a unified national convention. Not just that, also the secretary of the party, uh, uh, Senator John Akpanodwere, was also under fire as well. Uh, we have, I'm glad to say, Honorable Alphonso Eba back on the line. Good evening to you, Honorable Alphonso Eba. My pleasure to be with you. Thank you very much. The president has blamed the media for peddling what he called fake news of disunity in the APC. Um, what do you say to that? How did the media peddle fake news? Uh, in law, there is, there is what we call resista loquito. The fact speaks for itself. I am sure we have been able to prove uh, this year and prophets of doom that APC is the party to base. We came out much stronger than we were. We came out more united. And I must tell you this. And you can take it to the bank and you'll get it in all currency that APC is not only a united family, but we are ready for the task ahead. Hmm. 
Uh, 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 you, you're the chairman of, of the All Progressives Congress in Cross River State, and I'm sure you're aware of the internal uh, uh, issues of the party. Wherein lies the fake news? What the media does is simply to report what happens. And we know what was going on when, or what happened when Mai Malabuni, uh, the chairman of the Keteka, Keteka and Extraordinary Convention Planning Committee of the APC, left the country to go to Dubai to see his doctor. Um, of course, we know that the Niger state governor um, uh, tried to assert himself as the substantive caretaker chairman of the All Progressives Congress. Senator John Akpano was kicked out. So would it be fair to, 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 to blame the media uh, for peddling or us peddling fake news? I am sure that uh, documents speak better than oral assertions. May Malabuni, when he left for medical attention in Dubai, he transmitted a letter to the effect that the governor of Niger State and other members of the Ketika were going to act in his absence. What the media tried to do was only a figment of their own imagination. There was never a time that a little difference in terms of interest ever graduated to become a stump. Yes, agreed. They build up to the convention. People were divided along different interest lines. However, all that came to be buried on the night of 26th. We woke up here today under a new canopy of a party that is very united and very strong. And it has been celebration from home to home. Okay. All right. Uh, uh, let's look at the emergence of the, the, the new national chairman, Abdullahi Adamu. He's a former governor and a former member of the National Assembly. Um, some would say you, you, you needed to have a fresh face to show the fresh direction of the party, a new direction of the party, maybe someone younger. Uh, uh, what would you say to that? Because, of course, Adamo is one of those who has been there uh, for some time now. The emergence of a man like Abdullah Adamu and in the person of Abdullah Adamu is the best thing that happened to our party. Don't forget, we are trying to have a meeting point between the old and the young. You are speaking to a young man who is described as one of the youngest state chairman today in the country. My emergence was not also without any rancor and disagreement and disapproval of so many persons. Oh, you are too young. Oh, you are this. At 46 and a half, people said I was young. I know I was too young. At 60 something to 70, people said Abdullah Adamu is too old. Whatever you do, people will always talk. But again, like I told the national chairman yesterday, I say, Your Excellency, sitting in this place from morning to early hours of this morning without blinking your eyes, I am sure naysayers have been proven wrong. The capacity we always see in you, today the world is watching and seeing us. That man did not just blink, his, did never blink his eyes. He was moving around very strong and has kept so strong from that Saturday till early hours of yesterday, through the afternoon and even evening receiving guests. That is what you need. The name of this man is Bridge Builder. He earned that name many, many years ago after he left as governor of the state. Only recently he became the chairman of the APC Reconciliation Committee. The rules in the APC, it is for him to return back and complete that work of reconciliation and taking us to the proper next level, which is progress. All right, Tarnu Alfonso Seba, Chairman of All Progressives Congress in, in uh, Cross River State. Um, some people are insinuating that uh, um, Abdullahi Adamu, Senator Abdullahi Adamu, former governor as well, um, was imposed on the party 
by the leadership, uh, particularly President Muhammad Buhari and those in his circle. Do you agree? Uh, of course, I, I don't know. I, I would be surprised if you do. But what do you say to this as a, a ranking member of the party, that this was not the will of everyone in the political party and that this man was imposed? You see, what you call imposition, if you check the dictionary meaning of imposition, it is completely different from the political meaning that is being given to it. What we try to do in our party was to aggregate all the different shades of opinion, all the different interests. Don't forget, before we zoned, more than 15 persons came out to indicate interest around this election. When we went into zoning, the number reduced to a marginal level of about six or seven. When the sales of nomination form started, it further reduced about five. It became clear, like all the governors, the senators, the rep members, and all political leaders in respective communities, from the polling unit to the ward, to the chapter, to the state level, will always have who they want as their interest to be either their ward chairman, their chapter chairman or state chairman. When we graduated to the national level, it was only wise for us to say, Mr. President, who do you want among this whole person? And the president said, I want all. But in my thinking and estimation, you had given an assignment to Senator Abdullah Adamu, His Excellency. For us, it is for him to go back and complete that work. So as, as, as much as I want everybody here that is running, I would prefer that the man that has unconcluded work should go and conclude it. That was not in position. Okay. The governors came together and saw reason with that. And that was how we all surrendered to that view. It was a popular opinion, and it became the interest of the day. All right. And everybody had to drive the consensus process. It okay. was not an imposition. All right, all right. Uh, um, Alma Alfonso Eba, uh, Chairman of the All Progressives Congress in Cross River City. Are you there, sir? I am with you. Okay, fantastic. Um, now, the People's Democratic Party has refused to to keep quiet about about this uh, national convention and, of course, the uh, the emergence of Ad Abdullah um, Adamu as uh, the chairman of your party. Don't forget the current uh, PDP national chairman when he was elected at the PDP's convention uh, through a challenge to the, to the All Progressives Congress uh, to, to try and hold a national convention, which your party has done. But um, they are saying that the former governor of Nasarawa State, who is now your chairman, um, is, is um, tainted with a history of corruption and that what your party has done is simply imposed somebody or brought in somebody who has a record of, of corruption or with rather uh, the anti-corruption agency EFCC. Um, the PDP put out a statement to its national publicity secretary um, saying the imposition of Abdullahi Iman arraigned in court on not less than 149 counts of alleged fraudulent award of contracts and stealing of public funds estimated at 15 billion naira, you know. And they're saying you brought this man in as the national chairman of the All Progressives Congress, thereby telling the entire Nigeria that your party celebrates corruption. What do you say to what the PDP is saying? Anyway, when a party that has a chairman who in his own testimony had before now made a confessional statement, made an admission to be a super juggernaut of corruption. I am talking about Senator Iyocha Ayu, who told the whole world, and it's on record, that he collected 345 million from the then National Security Advisor, Major Dasuki, as consultation fee to support His Excellency Good Luck Jonathan, knowing clearly that that was money 
that was meant to procure arms to fight insurgency in this country. And that money was stolen by the chairman of PDP. For a man like that, that is lacking in character, in content, in conscience, to make an allegation against a man who has not been proven to have committed any act of corruption. Uh, are you, say, are you saying are you saying the, the, P, the, the PDP might be corrupt? You're not just the only corrupt party or the only party that has people who have questions to answer regarding corruption, but also the, so are you saying you are both you you are not worse than them? Is that what you're saying? I did not hear you well. You say what? Are you saying oh well we are, we, we we have someone as a chairman who is tainted or who has questions to answer regarding corruption, but so does the PDP. So you are saying you are as corrupt as they are. I have not you did not you did not get me. You did not get me to learn very well. I say allegations may have been made against our national chairman, but they remain unproven. They remain in the realm of allegations. But the national chairman of PDP, Senator Iyocha Ayu, in his own admission and confession, told the world that he stole. Three hundred and forty-five million. Uh, excuse me, but did, did he tell the world that he stole? Did he yes. use those words? I stole. He, he uh, has he been convicted by any court of comp competent it is, it jurisdiction? Is, it is in his testimony. All right, all right. You you, you are you are uh, criticizing the People's Democratic Party who had released a statement criticizing your party, saying that um, your party is a corrupt party for celebrating corruption by appointing Abdullah Dama as your party chairman or electing him, as you said. Um, but if you're pointing an accusing finger at the People's Democratic Party, um, what about the fact that uh, out of all those who were appointed or elected, rather, uh, as, as members of your party holding key roles, a lot of them are former members of the People's Democratic Party. For instance, Abdullah Damu, the man we're talking about, uh, who is a national chairman, was in the PDP. Uh, Iolo Mishore, who is a national, national secretary, a new national secretary, was in the PDP. Uh, Fessos Fuanta, uh, who is a deputy national secretary, was in the PDP. FN Wosu, who is a national welfare secretary, was in the PDP. Mustafa Sali, Sali, who is a national vice chairman Northwest, was in the People's Democratic Party. Moazu uh, Bawa, Bawa Rajau, a national vice chairman North Central, was in the People's Democratic Party. You're, you're pointing fingers at uh, uh, Honorable Eba. Inze Chiduru, who is a national, uh, national deputy national organizing secretary, was in the People's Democratic Party. Ahmed El Marzouk, who is a national legal advisor, was in the People's Democratic Party. Uguru Matthew Foka, national treasurer, was in the People's Democratic Party. Beta Edu, national woman leader, was in the PDP and criticized and lashed the APC during the NSAS protests. And finally, Abu Bakar Mekafi, who is a national auditor, was also in the PDP. What is the difference? Honorable Eba between the PDP and the APC, or should we now call it the APDPC? <laughs> I think uh, your line of question is different from the submission you are giving. In fact, if you want to follow the line, I was myself a member of the PDP. <laughs> Today I'm in PAPC. <laughs> so, so the what, 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 what is the difference? No, 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 get me right. Get me right. You said the PDP spokesman came out to make, make an allegation against our national chairman. And I was only telling you that the national chairman of PDP, whether speaking through his public secretary, do not have the moral fiber to stand to make any accusation or allegation of fraud, because himself has admitted and has confessed to have stolen money that was meant to use and procure yeah, arms. Yeah, all right, but I, think, I think we had moved on from that because I did say, and of course, I did say that uh, whilst not trying to, to take away from your point, because of course you said it's on record, I need to check, but I did say that uh, um, the uh, Iocha, you had not been convicted by any court yet. But uh, talking about the People's Democratic Party, I ask you what's the difference between the APC and the PDP because you have uh, not less than 11 uh, members of your 
uh, your national executive committee, your national working committee, rather, uh, coming from the People's Democratic Party. Now, you yourself, um, as, as a chairman of the party in Cross River State, you were in the PDP. Um, I, I do wonder where the likes of, well, let me not go there. But, but um, um, so what's the difference? The difference is that the human beings and the character you find at any particular time are the people that make a party. It is not those parties that make the human being. Today, myself and the likes of all those that have moved from the PDP, we have moved because there are tendencies, there were practices in PDP that we could not live with. And so we have only come to add voices, to add our strength to making the APC the party that is going to be the dream of what we have always had. But what is the difference between the PDP today and the APC today? Look at the names I mentioned. They have not even talked about the state party we chairman are like yourself. We about the gathering, the gathering of progressive minds. That is the difference. The APC is a body of progressive people that are set and concerned about the development of Nigeria. Honorable Eba, you and yourself, you yourself, Honorable Eba, you yourself a few months ago were attacking the APC. What changed? Check my record and tell me what I have attacked the APC about and let me know. During the 2019 elections, didn't you attack the APC? I never attacked the APC. I attacked the, the people that were running the APC in Cross River State. And I did my best to only market the candidates of my party. And do not forget, I was head of mobilization for the campaign. So what I was doing was not to attack party, but to sell my candidates. All right. V very quickly, very quickly, just in a sentence or two, what does the emergence of a northern chairman of your party mean going forward for the presidential primaries of your party and the discussion on, on zoning? Very quickly, please. What it brings to the table is that we have a culture that the moment you have a chairman of a party from the north, invariably, the presidential candidate of the party will come from the south. And that aligns with the aspiration of all Nigerians that power should shift to the southern part of Nigeria. Whether it is going to be the South South, the South West, or the South East, is another kettle of discussion for another day. Right. But the APC has given a clear direction ahead that power is coming to the South. All right. All right. All right. We'll, we'll, we'll come back to, 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 to that particular issue for a part two because I'm sure it's still a, a discussion we need to have. Thank you so much for your time. Uh, Honorable Alfonso Eba is the chairman of the All Progressives Congress in Cross River State. Ms. Eba, thank you for your time. Thank you very much. It's my pleasure. We'll take a short break and uh, when we return, we discuss Governor of River State in some weekend's declaration for the 2023 presidency. We'll be right back.